So just mentioning a little bit about children and cooking, I've found that when I'm emotional, uh, a number of things happen. Our children don't really want to join us, particularly for cooking in the kitchen. And uh, the other thing that happens is that our food doesn't taste so wonderful because we're not cooking with love, we're not cooking with our heart, and uh, gratitude and appreciation for all the wonderful, in this case, herbs that are in the garden that we can go and pick and have at our disposal. We um, find that there are a lot of them are wonderful for medicinal purposes as well as for our health and well-being. But our emotions come into this a lot. And obviously if our emotions aren't being processed as we go along, our health deteriorates. So that the emotions are probably the key ingredient in any uh, exercise around improving our health and having more raw food in our diet. And after we've dealt with our emotions and we've been processing our emotions as we go each day, I think by incorporating more and more raw food, we're going to become healthier. Just something as a parent that uh, I've noticed myself when we're cooking in the kitchen is when we're really trying to have children engage with us, that's when children sort of want to stand off us. And when we're just wanting to have some fun in the kitchen and we're not having a time frame, that's I think when cooking with kids is real fun. Because it's actually just enjoying the process rather than having this outcome that we're going to make this amazing food or it's going to taste really yummy. If we just, if just allow the kids to have some fun with it and allow them to, to understand the smells and tastes and enjoy the actual process and mixing things and that, then it's not so important about the outcome. And you'll find with the children, once they start to relax, all that relaxing is that we've actually relaxed as the parents or whoever's with them. So, so when we're in the cook kitchen, if we're stressed out and we're trying to control everything that's happening with our kids, it's going to be a basket case every time. I hate to tell you that, but it is. So, so when we're cooking with kids, like it's just it's having some fun and allowing them to be engaged in it, and and also just having it so that they you, you're being truthful with them about what we're actually doing. They want they want factual information when cooking. So so why do we talk to our children differently to we talk to an adult? Um, to me it seems crazy so when we're talking and wanting to learn how to cook and be part of it with kids just tell them factual information you know like you're wanting them to understand the taste and the smells and we're wanting to know like ourselves so so don't um, my suggestion for myself as much as anything is you know if when we're not talking down to our children that's when they really start learning so so give them the same information that you give a parent or an adult and you'll find your kids will really respond to that because they, they know and want to, want to learn these things and sometimes we, we look down at them when really if we just engage with them they'll learn so much more so much quicker. So have fun with kids and find those times if you're going to cook with kids just make sure you've got time because time is really important. But when we're feeling rushed, that's when children are going to bring up all our emotions. So remember anything going wrong in the kitchen is not the children. There's something going on with those of us that are in the kitchen with them. So if we take that in mind, then uh, it can be great fun. <laughs> Susan, do you want to add anything to? Yes, well, it's fun for grandmothers as well. I think we perhaps have a few more emotions that we have carried throughout our life and uh, we have to work with and I know for me that if I'm processing my emotions that uh, my grandchildren tend to want to be in the kitchen with me and uh, and have a lot of fun and if I'm not feeling what I need to feel that particular morning they are much more interested in playing outside so it's just something for me particularly to to learn to uh, really be in touch with my emotions when they are around and uh, wanting to cook with me because if I'm not in touch with them it will be a quite disaster in the kitchen so we'll end up with accidents or we end up with uh, uh, all sorts of issues that we weren't planning on. So. Yes, so when we're stressed in the kitchen with kids it's like why are we stressed with the kids in the kitchen? And it's generally we're trying to control them and we're trying to make them do it the way we want to do it. So 
the children are just reflecting what's going on for us. So if we're stressed in the kitchen with kids, we know that there's something going on for us. And it's just allowing ourselves to connect with what's going on with us. Why are we wanting to control everything that's happening with our kids? Yeah. Yes. All right. Lots to learn. <laughs>